and what is up guys it's Corvin here welcome back to the channel so another tier list um i remember back in the days well not really back in the days but like a couple of months ago when the new resonance system came i sort of did this for five stars so i split it into reso 2 reso 4 and reso 6 for four stars i don't think it's it's needed to break it so i think most of the resonances work together they're not like reso 2 for a four star will align with what four and six want <laughs> it won't be something completely different so for that case i'll just be making one for four stars now let me try to explain the tiers s let me start with s i think s this orange one here s the s tier is where the the changes are good they work to they work well with the kit they are sort of like they're great for that as per and they elevate that S bar into new heights. S plus is why did you even do this? <laughs> That's a bit too much. Probably needs a nerf, but it's like it's so much gain. It's value in abundance. Um, what what happened to those people? To those um S bars? Even if it's a slight, small increase, you will see so, some of the S plus S bars. They only got like one new thing, and that literally just skyrockets their value up <clears throat> so yeah that's s plus a is like you were almost s but it's so mild like it helps but not as much you know b is like i don't know what they were doing there it needs a bit more buffet so like a is the standard it's like okay it's a good change you would like to have these resonances that are needed b is like nah these resonances is like no man just a bit just a bit increase this a bit increase that a bit add this here subtract there i think that's what b is and then trash is absolutely there's no need to have the resonance like the at r0 and at r6 this aspa performs exactly the same well not exactly but i i, I would feel like it, it performs very similar to without so in that case i put it in a situation like that i just go okay let me put it as a trash <clears throat> so let's get into it starting here with so back so so back gets some control stuff whereby he is able to decrease the um like he's if he's able to remove buffs and stuff he can decrease the hp cap which a lot of these controllers got that which i think it's pretty good it's a pretty good change really supports doesn't change any of his percentages a bit of damage when they don't have buffs like that but it's really just a good change for zobak um it, it is an addition it is a slight step up you would enjoy him at r6 dahlia i would say she is quite okay nothing back breaking uh but it's very good you know like you really appreciate what they did for dahlia there <laughs> as a whole because yeah um what happened there it's it's pretty good i mean if she i, I guess they removed they decreased her freeze or is it the stun it's the freeze on the s2 right yeah the freeze on the s2 is done so um she doesn't freeze as much i think that's the problem okay okay i'm just gonna put her in b because she doesn't freeze as much before uh, as much anymore and the rest of it is really not that good like look at gate four is damage taken like when is dahlia taking damage <laughs> it says expires upon gaining a turn that is anti like if if your dahlia is someone moved before your dahlia you probably lost right like you put dahlia to move first so damage taken kind of yeah hp stuff yeah okay actually hmm i don't know the freeze might put her in trash <laughs> i i feel like it's trash because they nerfed the freeze and then um her gate six literally reads upon successfully inflicting a freeze still 10 percent of the target's ap right it's not even 30 percent or 20 percent okay dahlia is absolute trash since the freeze is nerfed and everything else is counterintuitive to her kit um basically an ro dahlia and an r6 dahlia function the same way now we then have her i think her is pretty good um that special buff she gives the hard buff 
that hot buff actually um <clears throat> what happens to the hot buff is that whoever has that hot buff can no longer be dispelled just like eras as two buff blessing of whatever which is kind of cool which is kind of cool a lot of other stuff change uh what i mentioned there is mostly the gate six stuff but a lot of other stuff happens look at gate four uh if stuff is on cooldowns you gain some speed pretty okay you know and then there is some healing as well on gate two so uh, yeah i think i think it adds it it adds what's needed i don't think it's s plus i don't think it's s i think it's more of an a higher than than daylon it adds what is required and not even more not not more not less right i feel like that's that's true anesidora <clears throat> so anesidora one is also it's on the fringes because what happens with anesidora is that the so the pandora's box no longer stuns but her s2 has a stun with gate 6 that s2 extends the stun for two turn to two turns but it is a single target skill guys that's my only problem it is a single target skill um her other saving graces are that gate 4 whenever an ally is not alive so like if one ally dies her speed increases which is pretty good um she used to be very usable in against tank comps yeah she used to be very usable against tank comps so i feel like in especially now tier without tier coming i feel like this is an s change because two turns stun on one s bar could be brutal like maybe you stunned their their clara and it's out of commission so <clears throat> pretty good it's not aoe would have liked it to be aoe but then the changes are good and you know she gets um at the beginning of the turn so let's say everyone is alive you're moving first she will get um five times four which is 20 percent accuracy so alleviate some of the building there and then Asenath. Asenath basically reverts to her pre-nerf stuff. So with Asenath, it's just more healing increased because one of the problem, one of the problems. So for people who don't know, before the game globally launched, Asenath was a healing beast, even better than Clara. Like she healed a lot. Uh, they basically gutted all of her healing, especially on the third skill. So yeah, they even reduced some of the healing percentages on the second skill. But now that is all reverted at r6 so r6 it's it's a reversion it she is a good healer protector which puts her in a very good spot definitely a warranted changes not too good not value in abundance but value added indeed um in fact an r an ro an ro dahlia and r6 dahlia function very differently so that is a plus for her aurelius um aurelius i would put him in a as well because it's like why isn't this part of his base base skill so he no longer removes the freeze to deal his his damage uh ice break fury the one that uh, the second skill that ignored defense um it used to remove the freeze <laughs> and deal a second attack but no now it no longer removes the freeze at full resonance so i think that is good that's something he needed again it should have been part of a bait kit but then it happened to be here actually i'm gonna do that because it's not like it's adding value. it is it is it is adding value because now you can you can run him as a freeze and then with a slight damage thing because he no longer removes the freeze you know like day long removing people's debuffs so yeah okay i'll just put it just put it in a pretty good change a positive change to him indeed arcana well with arcana the arcana grants everyone ap now which i think it's phenomenal so he used to only just only get ap now he gives ap to everyone so if he steals five buffs he will give 25 I'm, I'm not sure why would anyone have five buffs but he would give uh 25 percent uh ap to everyone and yeah <clears throat> no oh yeah no five buffs is very that 
it's, it's very it's very possible because let's say everyone is running immunity sets and then arcana moves first if it removes one buff from everyone that's five buffs right then it can give everyone 25 so her, his third skill is attack remove one buff from each and then now increases everyone's ap which is good a great change value in abundance didn't expect that but it happened um moving on ah my boy lomien i mean it's so mellow like her sh his shining thing is that if he puts uh speed down he will get a um speed up buff which is it's adding but it's a one turn speed up buff so it all hinges on his first skill continuously giving speed down buff like if the speed up buff was twice was two turns actually let i would i would put him here if his speed up buff was if he put if he puts speed down buff to the opponent he gives speed up the speed up buff no if he gives speed down debuff to the opponent then giving speed a buff to all of his allies i will put him here but since it's just him not not very long me and like i'm just gonna put it in b it's lacking it needs to be nerve it needs to be buffs it needs to be buffed honestly so yeah do something find out what you can do to help long me and have better resonances uh this one is it's quite somber it's like the oh man yeah i'm just gonna put it here it's also not enough doesn't seem like enough like the um so basically her r6 is that someone attacking with her will gain 20 ap but that's just one person so if they made 20 ap become part of her third skill she would now give speed up buff crit rate buff attack buff and ap which put her higher but then now she only grants ap with the first skill which is a 30 percent chance to bring someone along a 30 percent chance to give someone 20 percent ap not good enough okay moving on who's next bonnie bonnie is our first s plus just value in abundance i did not expect this she also her, her her second gate says upon successfully dispelling or stealing buffs each buff inflicts hp capacity minus six to the target up to minus 12 per turn that is insane man that is so quick like <clears throat> now she is a valuable tanky stripper so like before the only tanky stripper that we could run would be a tricky because he also helps with dealing with the controllers not the controllers sorry the the buff remove the debuff removers the cleansers now she is very valuable in that case and look at her third skill it says upon inflicting a, a stun which is the second skill all ability cooldowns of the target plus one that is good triggers one time per turn that is very good you can even put her on a zoo set and then after she strips with the third skill she puts stuns putting them at ability cooldown plus one i like it it's great it's value in an abundance um it, anything making it more would be like changing her, her third skill to just removing all buffs that would be insane but then <laughs> why would we need um raven <laughs> in that case right so yeah pretty good change to her i like it i think it is pretty cool next is catherine she has self-healing whenever she puts a buff she gains ap she gains speed just rush quickly as soon as one enemy dies she rushes she rushes quickly to go give everyone else standoff which i think is pretty good it's it's a needed change it makes a clear distinction between ro and r6 you would you wouldn't be aesthetic about it but then it's like it's just like it's enough it is enough you know asking for more is to ask her to be broken asking for less is just to cut her into trash so it is enough a tier for me <clears throat> follow up is celine and we have our second trash level like call it extend sleep to two turns like what do you mean <laughs> sleep is removed when you hit the asper 
A two-turn sleep does nothing. How can you ignore? She has an AOE sleep on her third skill. How can you ignore everyone for two turns and not touch them? Absolutely retarded. That should change their sleep. Like sleep and then 50% chance to stun. As in like 100% chance to sleep, 50% chance to stun. At least we know she can then stun. My god, dude. Like it's it's so obvious. And like if there is an ability on cooldown plus 18 speed, that's good. But then it's like, come on, man. Like she needs a lot more. Like the I mean, she is a great unit. But the resonance just doesn't work out. It doesn't help her go from great to phenomenal unit like this. The resonance does her zero favors. Works the same at R0 than at R6. Complete trash. Another Tress joins the fray. I, again, oh my god, dude. Like, I think with her R6, if I could remember. Guys, I'm doing all of this from the dome, by the way. <laughs> like, yeah, if, if I can remember, she, she gained some healing on R2. So basically, no, no, not gain. But then, like, when you heal her and when you give her barriers, they become good. And then on R6, they have the audacity to say when she uses her first skill, it increases her, her AP. Like, that does nothing. That that just does nothing like make it such that at the beginning of the turn she gives shields to everyone she doesn't need to move for them to gain shields just say at the beginning of the turn she gives shields and then she keeps stacking as she is moving and they are moving because now they just kill everyone before they even move them that either is a buff to her main kit or a buff to her resonance steward dude value in abundance my god there's so much damage buff to this guy if i remember correctly the six gate says if he fails to sleep he will then deal plus 30 percent damage that's a lot like he will fail to sleep all bosses right like this is a nuke to uh to apep or any boss you know like he will deal so much damage just from the fact that she, he couldn't inflict sleep, right? And then he has a lot of life steal to help him survive because he is similar to um, Chalmers. They use that HP to uh, inflict heavy damage. So now that he has life steal, he has better survivability in APAP. So <clears throat> pretty nice. And S tier, they um, pretty good for Steward for her i think it's pretty good as well um she gains some ap stuff so like no, no she doesn't gain like her ap changes from reducing to absorbing ap guys absorbing ap is way better way better than reducing ap and reducing ap is a good thing so she she just becomes very good she also gains a dispel at gate number four Gain number two, there is damage increase. So she just becomes very good. Her 10 cycling becomes very good. I think it's a great change. Um, though the best way to do resonances. Basically, A is like these are great resonances. And then we have another B tier here. Doesn't really help him. It just gives him more shields, more damage if he's low. Just he needs better survivability than shields. Give him something else. Please give him better survivability than shields. Kara, Kara is very good. Holy, she's now a controller. Because her th her third skill doomstroke also reduces the ap by 15 percent which is phenomenal man like that's very good she has a chance of ignoring resistance of course that's always good and then her miss rate is decreased by 25 percent if the target's not buffed so it is actually it's not i wouldn't say s okay i'm, I'm, I'm putting it back it's a it's, it's not value in abundance it's just it's a good one this is the resonance she deserved and Kara's kit was already well packed, so she didn't need a lot, lot more. But then I'm just happy that she got something like this. 
Joseph, Joseph, very good. Um, <clears throat> at at R6 there, it makes it such that he 100% ignores debuffs, which is very good. That's what you want for Joseph. Um, not high level, but you guys know um, that passive can allow him to then be able to survive debuffs, which is great. I like it. Uh, I'll say B tier here. Not a lot added. Like it adds to whatever she's already doing. German. I think it. it if someone has Nether Plume, she has a hundred percent chance to counter now. So it's at a hundred percent. Um, change the way you build her. You don't need a counter set anymore because most of the time people will have Nether Bloom. Um, if they're not stunned or anything like that. So for the team that she is current, she is most probably in. It's just a control team that has multi hits. Um, she will work very well uh, with these changes so it's it doesn't add a new dimension it just reinforces her power and I think because she her base form is so powerful they didn't they were they were conservative in making her resonance our second god mode holy holy <laughs> yo dude she is uh, she's above by the way uh guys the the sequencing here is is deliberate the sequencing here is deliberate let me do that yeah the sequencing here is deliberate let me do that the, she is amazing oh so the um, flip i can't say the name Br bris brisingerman i don't a flipping a I forgot the name yeah but i know how it's written in my brain but i can't say it that buff she now grants it to an ally when she's using her third skill so now there could be two allies potentially two allies that have the skill insane and something that works very well for her is that in gate four her speed will increase and the damage she takes will decrease in gate two this, that's so good man like that is so good like her buff is broken it makes someone hide they gain ap when whenever they move the the balance to this buff that she gives is that she gave it to one person now she gives it to two people insane just too broken nerf this please <laughs> nerf this please uh well don't nerf it era is great but yeah she is she is fairly fairly good Li guang is also pretty good uh makes her cycling very good in her gate six if she steals a buff the cooldown of all of her abilities all of them will be decreased that is insane when abilities are on cooldown she gains speed speed means two things to Li guang it means moving fast and damage this is why it's better than when supports get it is because in her case it actually means damage so this is not only speed it's damage increase so pretty good as tier change value in abundance um Li guang was done good um another trash one just dirty yo i'm just gonna say this nothing happens to lynn just more damage increases like stop she doesn't need that bro she needs better utility like the ah oh, come on man she does like she dealt too much damage already and then you give her more damage stuff no one cares i'm just gonna put it in trash i'm not gonna talk much about the trash ones you guys will just check the resonances and you will see that they're also trash uh she just gains a bunch of crit damage if an ally is dead boom more crit damage the buff that she gives a hundred percent crit rate boom more crit damage did she, did she not use her first skill her first skill will then deal more damage so it stays true to lin to lin xiao she was the king of dps at the beginning of the game because people are struggling and getting gear pieces and i think anyone in the early game will find so much value value in abundance in Lin Xiao because she alleviates so much gear requirements so much so yeah <clears throat> white tiger pretty pretty good pretty good can't hate i love all of it and i'm here for it a lot of damage from her well done 
uh chloe again with chloe she also gains some damage stuff but then um shout out to derry to play by the way he he runs chloe on is it what's that said ocean wave yes she, she runs he runs chloe on ocean waves and it's because of the cycling of the turns in desolate lands so i think that applies to everything else so she her gate six give her a way to reduce the cooldown of some of her turns which is value 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 more damage into it and then there's a crit rate buff i'm i mean whatever you're gonna use her she will barely have any hp so gate two is the weak point but it's very warm you know chloe is already good she didn't need that much to shine uh she gains like the she gains a lot of healing help again her buff was amazing she's now used almost everywhere but um yeah she gains a lot of healing stuff but the most important one is at gate six at gate six she is able to then take all of the healing buff that she's been getting and make it a shield what that's so insane now that i think about it i'm just gonna put it in as that's value in abundance she gains she gives a shield that's that's a lot of protection i think everyone can agree that is a lot of protection and she deserves a spot in s and the buff she got just makes this position much better um she got the buff the same patch as the resonance patch so that's why you know sort of works well together send out gets the ability to start on the second skill get some speed stuff as well yeah get some speed stuff as well so um <clears throat> now he's a much more competent stunner he stands on the second skill stands on the third skill damage 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 get speed which is more damage for him the same way for Li Guang. um pretty good pretty good you can't hate sender i swear sender someone has a crush on sender on the dev team like if anything comes out they have to make sender good like the sender would have to always be good and i think probably is the law of him leading the shadow decree so <laughs> law wise he he's supposed to be powerful so someone's like yo we can't not have a sender be usable in the game so whenever the game changes they'll always find a way to change sender to fit some way and he always does shout out to sender uh he is he is okay you know it extends the death thing that she that he gives on his s2 um yeah luyan is in a actually i might try luyan in the upcoming rta especially if people are gonna cleave <sighs> screw cleave man <laughs> screw cleave but yeah i'm gonna try luyan <clears throat> it he does he has he gains some miss rate stuff and some damage reduction when they crit him so he becomes a much more competent tank support thing i think he's a support so he becomes much more better at that and then the death tome is for two turns which is pretty good they don't lose it like instantly they don't lose it like instantly sorry about that guys so yeah pretty pretty good oh my god where do i put her wait let me think let me think where do i put her hmm i mean her changes are interesting she's very good in general right <clears throat> so what they did is that with gate six um they say the undying elixir passive that ability takes effect two times every turn right and that ability says heal whoever has the lowest percentage hp right and then dispel a debuff from whoever whichever ally has the least hp so it does this twice that is pretty good that made her so good for for um chronos and then her moving fast she'll always like heal 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 remove heal remove heal she also has the increased speed there to help her so i would guess uh, where is she there she is um i'll put an a it was very 
it was uh the that yeah it was very much just <clears throat> needed it is good it's a great change um it isn't much of a big change but then is a change that will make her much better jacob my god do yo someone send help for jacob this person this asper is not being used anywhere the resonance doesn't help you use him anywhere someone send help for jacob please and then um we have loyan no no, no lu yi we have lu yi here um lu yi i would put him here that not much not much happens he has a chance to strip that's okay that's just using him for five new um damage increase according to the amount of damage there that's uh, that's okay i don't see a difference between r0 and r6 it's very slight not that much so i'll just put him in b the twins i'm just gonna pull both of them in a it's very well it's very well warranted she um one of them used to gain speed now give speed to everyone the other one used to gain crit now it gives crit to everyone great pair great pair of of buffs to give shout out to alice <laughs> so together they are an alice and i love it and i'm here for it um he gets he is pretty good i like him for that sense um and it's mainly due to when he strips he will also re reduce the cap dude ahmed stocks are going up and up a lot of controllers have this ability now that they will remove the cap they will remove the hp cap up until 50 percent of course whenever they remove debuffs or some buffs sorry so yeah ahmed ahmed is going on the up and up <laughs> you know so yeah hp cap reduction pretty good he gains that which is pretty nice for him very very value overload <clears throat> nicole nicole see with nicole guys <sighs> yeah nicole is very underwhelming hey nicole is very underwhelming no it's 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 justified it's not underwhelming actually let me let me just be free you know i can't hate on nicole i just got her last patch like my last somebody session two days back i got her um so i haven't used her much i hear she can be good in chronos but outside of that yeah her kid is just like she dispels all debuffs with her second skill which is one asper so there's that there's damage reduced there's healing for herself so i don't know not enough not enough just gonna put it in a it's like yes you added stuff to it but it's not game breaking or changing her significantly on the other hand two turn standoff holy more healing if he kills amazing guys the difference between one turn standoff and two turn standoff is that you will definitely need a i don't want to say stripper what what is what's the word for this yeah you need a stripper you need a buff remover to get rid of them because there's no way a squishy team is surviving two turns of <laughs> of this guy having standoff there is no way but then you know cleave teams normally have gaius <laughs> so that's that so they normally have a way to remove it but then it's pretty good value in abundance two turn standoff great i love it mona meh meh some 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 healing some more healing now if she kills a nespa with any skill she heals that's good makes her a good farmer it's not what would elevate her to be much better but yeah and our next s plus tier damn dude this person oh that that sixth one that gate six yeah that gate six leaves him eating very pretty 
when reducing the target's AP to 50%, Jiao Yin's AP plus 50% trigger one time per turn. Oof. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wow, man, that is insane. So what this means is that any move that decreases AP and then their Esper that was decreased, the, the Esper or boss or anything that AP was decreased to 50 and down, Xiao Jin will then go to 50 afterwards. So he's ahead to just deal another attack if he's fast enough. Quite insane. I like it. I love it. It is great this i needed and then he gains a bunch of damage stuff as well of course elemental damage plus 12 plus 2.5 damage stacks up to 10 whenever he has buffs great great s tier plus just what he needed when everyone was crying about chronos he was there to save the day <laughs> that is that's what i'll just say zongnan such a cool looking aspa with such a boring kid man like zongnan's kid is yeah see uh, no one uses this guy i'm just gonna put him in b like he got the shorter end of the stick and then here as well it's like he dispels in every hit big whoop you know at ignore resistance 80 percent chance meh abilities on cooldown 18 speed it's okay it's 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 okay you know it's nothing that big and that's the story of Zongnan is that his kit is just not working. Rework Zongnan, such a cool looking dude, needs better treatment, needs better skills. But anyways guys, those are the four stars. I didn't include the new guy because I have no idea how stuff is gonna work for him. So just wait, sit, bite my time, look at everything, get him, test him, and then I'll come back to you guys to sort of discuss what is needed. But with that being said, thank you for watching guys. The video is too long. My voice is running out. I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye. Thanks, boys. Deuces.